what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my Christmas in Julyathon reading vlog. <laughs> First, I want to preface saying, I know I have a breakout all over my face. Uh, Shark Week came, so it's in full force. So uh, yeah, and I'm not putting makeup on it because that just makes it worse. So you're gonna have to deal with looking at breakout Avery for a little bit. Um, but yes, this is my Christmas in a Julyathon reading vlog. So Christmas in Julyathon is a readathon hosted by three booktubers and three bookstagrammers. I will link all of them down below. I love the idea of Christmas in Julyathon because I don't read a lot of Christmas books. I don't think I've ever read a Christmas romance book before. So I'm very excited for this readathon. So I know I talked about the prompts in my July TBR video, but I'm just going to go over them again. And I'm also going to just add some maybe little Christmassy books that I find here and there. If I end up reading more Christmas books throughout July, I'm going to put it in this reading blog because this readathon is a whole month long. So I thought it'd be fun to add some more Christmas books that don't fit these four prompts because there's only four prompts. So might as well add some more if I read more Christmas books because I have found way more that I'm interested in also. So the first prompt is Oh Holy Night. Read a book with a blue slash black cover or stars or a night sky on the cover. And for this one, I picked Alaskan Holiday by Debbie Maycomber. And this is through Libby. I talk about the summaries of these books in my TBR video for July, but I bet when I start reading these books, I'll talk about them more. Prompt number two is Last Christmas. Read a book that you didn't get to read last Last year. Pretty Human by Ruby Dixon is my pick for this one. It's not Christmas related. I thought it would be okay to add to put some books in here that aren't Christmassy if that's okay hopefully. They're the only things that I could like fit in the prompt because I was never interested in a Christmas book last year. The cover kind of fits the bill for it. Prompt number three is Winter Wonderland. Read a book with a winter or Christmas themed title. Example being Snow, Cold, or Christmas. For this one I picked Secret Santa by Katie Wilde. This one off of Kindle Unlimited. Also the Ruby Dixon one was off of Kindle Unlimited. Final prompt, prompt number four is Christmas in the Country. Read a cowboy slash cowgirl girl themed book. For this one I picked The Truth About Cowboys by Lisa Renee Jones and I got this one off of Audible Escape. So it's actually July 12th and I have already read one book for this readathon. I forgot to update um, when I read it but I ended up already reading and completing Pretty Human by Ruby Dixon. This is an alien romance book. This is actually a novella by Ruby Dixon. I think it's my least favorite book that I've ever read by Ruby Dixon which is very unfortunate. I'm trying to read all of her backlist and I thought that this prompt fit the bill perfectly for that because this book came out in 2019 and I wanted to read it but I ended up not getting to it. In Ruby Dixon fashion, the main character man is a blue Masaka alien and um, this takes place on the home world that the Masaka are from. He's like the richest like Masaka in the whole entire planet basically or he's like one of the richest so he's very famous and well known and he gets invited to this like party retreat for like the elite people in the world or whatever and there he meets a main character woman i don't remember her name at all i think it's millie maybe she ends up being the present to one of the other guests there but our main character man sees her and demands that she is his now she kind of becomes his companion and it turns into something more but this book was only like 50 six pages long. There wasn't really all that much development, at least with the other Ruby Dixon books that I've read. Like there's more world building and development and I kind of like believe the romance a little more. This one just like didn't do it for me unfortunately. Um, I ended up just giving it three stars. I love the world. I love Ruby Dixon. I love her writing. I just felt like it should have been longer. There should have been more to it and it would have been way better. Well, now we're going to talk about my current read, which is The Truth About Cowboys by Lisa Renee Jones. Again, I'm listening to this one off of Audible Escape. I believe it's like a nine hour audiobook. I am surprisingly loving this. So this isn't Christmas related. I'm getting the non-Christmas related books out of the way. I believe you can only find the audiobook off of Audible. It's an Audible original, I'm pretty sure. And oh my word, I am loving this. So this is about our main character named Jessica and the love interest's name is Jason. So Jessica ends up randomly out of the blue going on Zillow and finding a cottage to stay at for three months because she just caught her fiance cheating on her and she wants to get the hickety heck out of town. And on her way over there, she gets rescued by a man because her car broke down and got stuck in the mud in this little Texas town, which I'm also loving that it's taking place in Texas. I live in Texas and I rarely read romance books set in Texas. So I am loving this. This also takes place on a ranch because the cottage is on a ranch and I love ranches too. <laughs> so she ends up getting rescued by Jason, her car was stuck in the mud in a rainstorm 
and he is just gruff mean and he just so happens to be a retired very famous baseball player and he may or may not own the ranch where the cabin she rented out is on and he didn't like rent out this cabin to her so she's like who rented this cabin out to me and he may have a grandmother who's trying to meddle in his love life <laughs> it is so far so good like it's so good it's an enemies to lovers i'm pretty sure like there's this great banter back and forth there's the rugged cowboy just like the loving grandmother and then our main character woman she is already so much like me like she talks about Reese's like it's the best thing in the world and Reese's are the best thing in the world I already love her so um I'm around two hours away into the audiobook really really enjoying it I have finished The Truth About Cowboys by Lisa Renee Jones and I'm giving this four stars. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I also realized that the second book in this series is surrounding Christmas. <laughs> it's like the truth about Christmas or something like that. I don't remember. Maybe I'll read the next one this month. We'll see. But I ended up really enjoying this. I couldn't give it five stars because the ending was so rushed. Like the conflict and then the resolution for the conflict was so rushed. It was so rushed. Uh, not really my cup of tea. I don't like when endings are super rushed, like right when it's resolved the book gets wrapped up after one page. Like that's not what I want. I want a little bit more. I really loved the talk of baseball in this book. I love baseball. So I really loved that. And I loved how our two main characters were very passionate about baseball because she loves baseball too. I love the grandma in this book. I love the grandma. She meddles in a bunch of things. She bakes a lot of cookies and I've been faking recently. So I, I love her. I loved Jessica. She reminded me a lot of myself. We loved the same things. It was really, really, really weird because um, her favorite things to eat and uh, drink were my favorite things to eat and drink. Uh, she loves Reese's and mac and cheese, which are my two staples. And uh, her favorite drink is Sprite Zero, which is my favorite drink, which was like <laughs> kind of creepy. <laughs> but not. I guess a bunch of people also, those are their favorite things too. I don't know. The narrators for this book were amazing. They are my two favorite, 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 favorite book narrators of any kind. Andy Arndt and Sebastian York, amazing narrators. They work on a lot of books together and I love both of them oh so very much. She's my favorite female narrator. He's my favorite male narrator and them together just sparks fly. I honestly think that if I physically read this book or if I read it on ebook, I want to see bump it down a star or two. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't read it that way, so I wouldn't know. But they made the experience so much better for me. I love them oh so very much. So I really actually recommend this book. If you have not read a cowboy romance before, I totally recommend starting out with this one because it's not like a cowboy cowboy romance. Whenever I think of a cowboy romance, I think of like like a western or like for some reason like an Amish book or something along those lines which this is not it it's basically just a regular contemporary adult steamy romance just set on a ranch that's it <laughs> I really recommend this one I really did enjoy my time I just again wish that the ending wasn't so rushed so for my next read I think I am going to start Secret Santa by Katie Wilde I've been loving Katie Wilde's books, so I can't wait to dive into this one. Sorry if you hear the dog crying. It's raining outside. And they don't like the rain. So, uh, they're being whiny babies, <laughs> as you can hear. Okay, so I am 33% of the way through Secret Santa by Katie Wilde. I'm really enjoying this one. This one is a Christmas-related book. I have finally started reading a Christmas-related book in this Christmas readathon. <laughs> so this girl named Emma. She just got hired in this like wood craftsman small company. She's taking over the place of uh the the like accountant that is pregnant right now so she needs someone to replace her. And so while she's been like at this place training with this woman to take her place there she meets the owner's son who is giving her like dirty glares like every time he sees her, he gives her like dirty glares and she's just like scared because he's like glaring at her all the time. And she's like, what did I do wrong? Like I've never talked to you before, barely. And you like hate me, what's going on? Like she doesn't confront him about it. But turns out those aren't um, hate glares from him. Those are, I wanna do you glares from him. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't know any better because she's never been with anyone before. I'm really enjoying this one. Again, only 33% of the way through, but Katie Wilde can write some 
steamy stuff. Like steamy stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole Secret Santa thing is that he really wanted to be her Secret Santa. So he like went and asked a bunch of people for whoever drew her name to switch. So he is her Secret Santa. The present that he just gave her, ugh, it was so good. That whole scene was so good. <laughs> um, I'm really, really enjoying this one. I finished Secret Santa by Katie Wilde earlier today. Whoa! That is a very steamy book. <laughs> I thought this was super duper fun for the Christmas time or July time, anytime. I think I'm gonna give it 3.75 out of 5 stars. It's not my favorite thing in the world. It's just a short and a fun novella. And yeah, I had a really fun time reading it. So I'm gonna give it a 3.75 stars. I think I'm going to stray from my TBR and read the other Christmas book by her, which I don't remember the name of, but I'm going to put the cover up here. I love the cover, so I can't wait to dive into this one, and people have been telling me this one is even better than Secret Santa, so I'm very excited. Oh no, Oscar's joining us. Hi, dude. What's up? Okay, so I just finished, well yesterday I just finished, All He Wants for Christmas by Katie Wilde. Ollie, why are you crying? I swear he is worse than like Kermit, like Jenna Marbles' dog with how much he cries. It's ridiculous. So I finished All He Wants for Christmas by Katie Wilde and I'm giving this one 3.5 stars. It's not as good as the other Katie Wilde book that I read that's Christmas related. This one is about a detective. He was recently shot by like a bad guy, like a guy who went and tried to shoot up the office or whatever. When he's like down on the ground, like after someone shot him, this woman comes over and is like helping him until the paramedics come. And he's always been like, I want that woman. He doesn't know who she is, what her name is, but ever since that incident, he's always been like, I want that woman like i want her to be mine this book starts out with the like mayor or like the richest guy in town coming to the police station and telling the detective that his daughter is moving into his apartment building and if he wouldn't mind like basically calling him and letting him know like when people come to her apartment so that she's safe or whatever and turns out that his daughter is the woman who saved him all he wants for christmas is this woman. <laughs> Again, the steamy scenes were so well written. Katie Wilde knows what she's doing when it comes to steamy scenes because very, very, very good. <laughs> I believe she might have another Christmas romance. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. Tomorrow is the start of the reading rush and I don't think I'm going to be reading any Christmas related books during the reading rush. So I think today I might just listen to Things called Alaskan Holiday the whole entire day because I think it's only six hours long and I listen on three point on two point three speed. I might listen to that whole thing today and get it over with. So it's literally two minutes after I just filmed that clip. Ollie is still crying, obviously. <laughs> And I just started the audiobook. I don't want to read this. Like, I don't like the narrator. Oh, oh, you know you oh my gosh. You know you like read books or listen to books where you're like one second in and you're just like, I do not like this narrator. That is this for me. Uh, it happens a lot. So uh, I don't wanna read this. <laughs> I don't have the physical copy. I don't have the ebook copy. So I'm not gonna read this book. I might have to just like find another book for this challenge, I guess. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm here to wrap up this reading vlog readathon thing. <laughs> so it is actually July 30th and we have one more day in the month, but I don't plan on reading any more Christmas books. So I thought I would just wrap up the readathon right now. I read four books for this readathon, which I'm very happy for myself. I completed all four prompts or I, I kind of stretched it a little bit on one, but it was a Christmas book. So I think we're good. The first prompt was Oh Holy Night read a book with a blue slash black cover or stars or night sky on the cover. So for this one, I am fitting in All He Wants for Christmas by Katie Wilde. There are kind of stars on the cover. It might be snow. <laughs> this is the one I'm stretching a little bit. I had that Debbie Maycomber book, but I was not a fan of the narrator at all. So uh, I deleted that one off of my TBR. I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was pretty enjoyable. Looking back on it, I don't really remember like anything from this book, but I remember 
having a really fun time reading this though. The next prompt is Winter Wonderland. Read a book with a winter or Christmas themed title. For this one I picked Secret Santa by Katie Wilde. This has the word Santa in it. So that fits the bill for that, of course. I ended up giving this one 3.75 stars. I enjoyed this one a little bit more than the other Kitty Wild book, but I still found it very, very, very enjoyable. Then for Last Christmas, read a book you didn't get to read last year. I have Pretty Human by Ruby Dixon. I ended up giving this one three out of five stars. Definitely, I think my least favorite Ruby Dixon book that I've ever read. Not really my cup of tea at all very 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 insta lovey and like normally with ruby dixon and insta love i'm like loving it because it's just so much fun but this one just didn't work for me for some reason so it was really enjoyable just not my favorite thing by her and for the last prompt which is christmas in the country read a cowboy slash cowgirl themed book for this one i completed the truth about cowboys by lisa renee jones which was very surprising that i enjoyed this one so much i ended up giving it four stars and i just had so much fun reading this i can't wait to continue on with the series i plan to read the second one in august this is like a perfect i think cowboy romance to get into because i loved it and it was my first one i've ever read so very excited to continue on with the series and I highly recommend this one. So there you have it. Those are all four books that I read in the Christmas and July-a-thon. Thank you so much to all the hosts who hosted this read-a-thon. I had so, so, so much fun. I had so much fun diving into a genre or subgenre of romance that I never tried before. I've never tried a Christmas romance. So I loved it and I can't wait to read more Christmas romances in the future. And I feel like it's okay now to read romances that are set during Christmas time throughout the whole year. You don't need to read them during Christmas time, if that makes sense. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you participate in this readathon or made a vlog, I'd love to watch it. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.